Hey guys, Stealth Jacob here, and welcome back to the Direwolf 20 1.10 mod pack. Today, we're going to do some stuff with the Tinker's Construct mod. Last episode, we built this little smeltery, and we actually made a bit of iron right now. And right now, we're going to continue off with that stuff. So we're going to grab our seared bricks that we have and make a couple more items. So first thing I'm going to make is the casting basin. Now this thing is really cool. Basically, you use the same way that you would make items with this thing. You, you can remove this, you can place this down. And since we have, basically what this does is you can get a full block of the material that you want. So we have two blocks of iron in here. If we right click it, the iron will be pouring into this thing. And then we'll get a block of iron, it's really cool. So yeah. It's a nice way to get blocks rather quickly, and it's very efficient as well. And as you can see, it also has to harden after it's all poured. And we, we only have one block left. It does take a little bit. It, it does matter on the metal that you're doing. But yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. So we're going to get this other block out of here. So there we go. A block of iron. Now, we're going to actually expand this thing for a little bit we're actually we will move to another location at some point but what I want to do first though is actually expand it a little bit so I'm gonna make another one of these um, smeltery drains so we need to look up how to make that um, the smeltery drain is made of what Smeltery drain is, okay, that's really easy. You just do like this. Okay, we get our smeltery drain, and we need another faucet. Like that. Oh, my shovel. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is actually extend this thing to be slightly bigger. So I'm going to break this wall a little bit. I just want this bigger so we can... Be able, then we can um, actually we can smelt more materials at once, which is really nice, and we can also um, we can also just do both of the we can craft tools easier with this thing and this thing at the same time. So that's the plan. So we gotta make it a little bit bigger now. So we gotta remove this thing. Um, yeah okay so we need to put three down and then from here we just build out this way so we just need like three right is that all we need okay so that should be working now it should be big enough to work let's put a torch down again there we go <coughs> So now we should have a slightly bigger one, and yeah, it can hold up to 12 items. Let's let's actually put this block down here. There we go. And we need the faucet on here. Okay, so we have everything situated now. The next thing that we want to do is to put down these materials. The part builder, the tool station, and all this stuff. Now, there's not much room in our house right now. So what I'm going to do actually is break the ceiling open and put them up here. It's a bit weird, but I think it'll help us out. Um, so what we want to do is put the part chest. It's There's a really complicated sort of way to do this. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be able to do it right, but we'll see. Okay. So, um, tool station goes here uh, okay that works out and this goes here uh, I'm not sure if I did this completely right um, hmm. I am not really sure actually it's like okay let's try there's like a weird pattern you can do with these things, and it just works really nicely. 
I'm not really sure how to do it. Hmm. I'm not really sure, but I think for now we're just going to leave the tools right there. So what we want to do is make a couple of tools, right? So the first thing we're going to make is a pickaxe, right? Okay. So to make a pickaxe, we need a few parts. First thing we need to do is make ourselves. We need to make, well, we have some of the blank patterns here, which we need. Blank patterns are made with sticks and wood, in case you don't know. We need to make all the parts that make up a one of them. So we need a pickaxe head pattern. We need a tool rod pattern. Is this the tool rod? They look very similar. Okay, a tool rod pattern. And we need a binding pattern. So we need these three patterns. And you can store them in the chest really easily with this thing. Like that. Okay. That... Yeah, there should be a really nice way to combine. So, like, when you place these things down next to each other, you can just swap between them, like, up here somehow. But I don't remember how to do that. So, we'll just take these out for now, and we'll put them back in the chest when we need to. So, we're going to make... What kind of pickaxe should we make? Let's use a unique material. That What do we got? What if we did... How about a? F can we make a flint pickaxe? Let's let's get some flint and try it. Okay, so what we need to do is go to the part builder, and when you hover over each material, you see that there's actually like a cost associated with it. So for the tool rod, it says cost of one. So we're gonna make a tool rod out of wood, okay? So if you put a piece of wood in here, it will make a tool rod. But if we were to put like a stick in here, it wouldn't actually work. Do I have okay, I have some sticks? Like a stick would not work as a full piece. It counts as half of a piece. But if we put two sticks then we would also get a tool rod. So you got to look at the values of each of the items and make sure you have enough. Now, we're making a wooden tool rod for a really interesting reason. And we're also actually going to make a wooden um, binding pattern. Made a, and it needs one as well, so we have half there and a full piece. You see they have the word ecological on them. I'm pretty sure that means that it will automatically repair itself, which is actually quite amazing. Oh, and to make the pickaxe head, you need two of the items. So there's one piece of flint. There's two. And we have a flint pickaxe head with the crude two inch. And I don't know what that is. What does crude do? I'm not really sure. But now that we have all the pieces to make a pickaxe, we're gonna place the pickaxe in. Okay, we click the pickaxe, and we place all the parts inside of here. So by doing this we can make a pickaxe. We can also name it without any levels or anything, which is really nice. So we'll name this the Stone Smash or... I don't know, because this is a really strong pickaxe. It can mine up to iron, which is pretty good, but for now we'll use it for stone, I guess. And so ecological is a renewable resource. Renewable resources are so good, they regenerate by themselves. I think that means it can regenerate itself. We'll test that out though. And crude does bonus damage against unarmored targets. So I guess if we're in a cave and we're fighting mobs, that's really good. But yeah, we got the stone smasher. Is there anything else about it that we need to know? Um, if we place it in here, we can read about it. I don't think there really is. I kind of want to Oh, I left it in there. So let's go test this thing out. Let's go back into the mine area and just see what sort of happens. And for now, we'll play season the chest. All right. So we made ourselves a flint pickaxe, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's not like the normal stuff. It's not an iron pickaxe or anything. 
So let's just go down here and let's mine a little bit with it and see if... I want to know if it actually repairs itself because I'm not sure if it will or not. It says it should. I'm just really curious if it will. So let's get down. So building out of wooden tool, wooden parts is somewhat decent. Even though it's a low durability. It's pretty cool. Like let's go mine this coal up here, I guess. It's it's a decent mining speed. It's not super fast or anything, but it's okay. So we're just going to mine a little bit of this for now. And we're going to see if this actually repairs itself because I'm really curious about that. It says that it should, but we are not sure. Okay. That's a good amount. So we're going to... It's at 168 durability, so we'll type that in and chat. 168 durability. And we'll check later in the episode if it changes or not. Okay. So let's go back to the surface and try and make another cool tool. Let's just make some cool other tools as well. Um, what kind of tool do we want? Should we try and make like a sword or something? That could be a nice idea. Um, let's just go up here and look at the stuff that we can do. Um, so we can make shovel, we can make a hatchet, which is good for chopping wood and leaves. We can make a mat, a mattock, which is an it can chop it can chop woods it can shovel dirt and it can hoe the ground that's pretty cool it can build some unique swords like a long sword and a rapier which are different there's also a frying pan which is really crazy and a battle sign I guess it's the daytime okay cool um I think what we want to do, let's build a mat, actually, let's build ourselves a frying pan, knockback, let's build a frying pan, that sounds fun. So I think we need a tool rod, and we need to make the frying pan thing. So we go to the stencil table, we have one left, let's make the pan pattern it costs three materials which is quite expensive and I think we can use a tool rod as well so we're actually gonna make a metal pan head I guess you would call it so to do this well first let's actually first thing we do is make these tool rod so let's just use that let's make a wooden tool rod so we can regenerate itself according apparently and to make a to make a metal one it's kind of tricky to do but we'll figure it out so to do that we need to make the first thing we need to do is make a version of this out of stone so it costs three materials so we'll put three in three materials I get a stone frying pan head now what we can do with this is we can make a, a cast out of it now casts are made out of two materials, either gold, well, either the gold or um, aluminum brass one, I think, gold or aluminum brass, and clay. Now the difference between the two is that the aluminum brass or gold ones will not be destroyed, while the um, clay ones, they will be destroyed after one use, which is a bit, it's actually a newer feature, I think, I haven't seen it before. So what we're going to do is actually smelt some clay in here, and we're going to test out this feature, because I had never done it before. So we're going to... Oh, the clay looks really weird. It just floats there. That's weird. Okay. So we have the clay there. Now, what we need to do is to have our version of the item. So we have this frying pan thing here. So what we would do is put it on the casting table, and then once the clay is done melting, we'll pour it onto the head, the frying pan thing, and it will make a cast out of it. Then what we do is we put metal in here, and then you can pour the metal into the cast. I'm going to do it right now, though, so you guys know what I'm talking about. 
So we have the frying pan, pan ahead of here and like a table. We have the clay in here. We're going to pour the clay on it like this. The clay is hardening and stuff. So now we have this thing here that will hold the that we can pour the head into. Now what metal do we want to make it out of? I mean we don't have a lot. We might just do iron. We could do tin or copper as well, but do I have any uncooked iron? I have one, but I think we need three. So let's put three iron ingots in here to be smelted. Now take a little bit of time as well. That's not a problem though. Okay, it's smelting up. Also looking, how do you, I think we might want to make an ingot cast at some point too. So how do you make, I want to make one out of this material though. How do you make molten aluminum? You make it out of, or not, okay, so you need alu three aluminum and one copper. Do we have any aluminum? That's the question. I don't know if we do. So we can't do that yet, but we will in the future. So we have three iron ingots in here. And we put it to the bottom by pressing on the ingot. If you press on the clay, whatever you press on will go to the bottom. And now that we have it selected, we'll pour it into here. It's filling up. And yeah, now we'll be able to make an iron frying pan. And as you see, the clay, the clay cast goes away because it only has one use. So that's the disadvantage of clay ones, but I mean clay isn't the rarest material, so you can find a lot of it. But I I do usually prefer the aluminum ones, or the aluminum brass slash gold ones. So now that we have this, we can make a frying pan. So we can put the economic thing or the ecological okay, economic in the frying pan in. And we can name it something. What do we want to name it? Frying pan? Alright. And now we got a frying pan. It does damage to enemies. Five damage. It has some modifiers on it, which modifiers are basically things to make them more, I guess, the item better. So, like, you could add, like, loot on, looting on it or like fire aspect or stuff like that but yeah let's find a monster or something and hit him with the frying pan where there's a monster and there's, there's a skeleton behind that tree come here oh I missed oh look at that oh what is that doing? oh he died though we killed him so the frying pan is just sort of a funny thing but I don't know I thought I'd make one because they're pretty cool. They can apparently do a lot of damage to stuff. Um, should we try and make one more item? Let's make one more. Let's make ourselves... What do I want? What's a battle sign do? Um, let's build... Let's actually build a, a hatchet. Why not? So we need to make more blank cast, which we have the wood for. So you just do, you make this to make the blank cast. We get four of them. And we need the hatchet head, which is which one? I think it's that one. Yep, uh, axe head. Is that the right one? I'm pretty sure it is, yep. So we need that one, we need the tool binding, and that's really it. Oh, where's the other, where's the one by the way? It's in here, okay. Let's put it in this chest. There we go. So we're going to make another, let's actually make it out of like tin, oh no, let's do copper, we have a lot of copper. How many material does it cost? It costs two. So if we put two copper in here. Do we have enough clay? We might need like one or two more clay. We'll put one clay in, hopefully that's enough. We have enough lava to do it. 
So what we're going to do is make everything wooden except for the head obviously because that's the important part. So two sticks, make the tool rod, then we do the hatchet or the binding. That's the rod. Uh, there we go. Wooden binding. And we need to make a stone axe head with the two stone that we have. We get this axe head. Now what we need to do is place the axe head on here. Put the clay on the bottom. Is it on the bottom? Yeah, it is. Okay. Pour the clay. How much clay extra do we have? We have one ingot, apparently. Can you make a clay ingot? Is that a thing? That'd be interesting. So we have our um, our axe cast, our axe head pattern cast here. Now what we need to do is switch to copper and then pour copper on it. And we should get ourselves a copper axe head. And now what we do is we place, we make, we choose the axe pattern and we put the materials in. And now we're going to have a copper axe or a copper hatchet. What is well established? You gain additional XP. Wow, that's cool. What should we name it? Um, the chopper. I don't know. I'll think of better names in the future for sure. But yeah, okay, let's check our pickaxe now that we had. So when we started, we said it was at 168 health left on it. It is now at 177. So it went up about 9 um, points, which is pretty slow. But, I mean, it is working, which is cool. So there's not much else you can really ask for in that. Um... Uh, yeah, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. We made a couple of cool tools. We're going to go test out the axe head right now, actually. Let's test. Let's see how good this is. How much damage does it do to mobs, by the way? It does 4.85. The frying pan, I think, is still better. So we'll keep the frying pan out because it's our defensive weapon for now. But yeah, it just cuts really fast as an axe. And you actually get XP from doing stuff like that. That's cool. I did not know that. So when you chop trees, you can get some XP with a copper axe. Who knew? That's pretty interesting. I thought that was for, like, getting extra XP for killing mobs or something. But no. So when you cut down trees with this axe, you have a chance to gain beautiful experience. Which is cool. But anyways, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Direwolf 20 1.10 mod pack. We made all these cool custom tools today. We can actually get rid of that one and this one now. Let's just dump the rest of the stuff in the chest that we don't need. And we'll put our patterns where they belong in the pattern chest. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!